You're not supposed to do this, they say. You might spin the ball joint and then you're messed. I didn't. Yes. You are not supposed to hit these with a hammer. They have ball joint separating tools. I don't have a hammer anyway, and neither does my buddy whose shop I'm at, so I have this uh, receiver hitch. Hmm, that's not working either. I might have to put the camera down to get that out. It's a flat spot there you can hit. Anyway, it usually works pretty good if I have my big hammer, which I don't. So, I'll put this down. Alrighty. We got it with this little guy right here. Alright, some taps on the flat spot, a couple taps on the nut. Shh, don't tell. She dropped down. You can't see it, but there it is. Boom, baby. And I set it to the exact same thread count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven threads. One, seven. On that inner tie rod end. And that'll be close enough. Get us to an alignment shop. Or if you got some alignment plates or you want to F around with that, you can set your toe. I've just set it exactly what it was at, and that'll be good enough for a starting point. Hello, I'm Cody Wood. This is my wife's Kia. We have to do the tie rod end, so we're going to be busting out the welder. Yeah. Let's get to it. It's going to cold out, so I get my jacket to the car. Yeah. I'm feeling right, baby. Can't hold back these feelings for so long. I don't know the words, but I'll make them up. Whoa. Let's get these nuts off. I think we've got that cleaned up enough to wear a baby. Yeah, I think we can weld that up. And then hopefully it spins the bottom nut off with the top nut. Be Spin it around and do one more for safety. Our safety jacket worked. That's good. Well, that's the wrong size wrench. That doesn't help us at all. 
Correct. Now that's spinning the whole shebang like we want. And now I guess I'll kiss with Mr. Grinder there. Spin two, spin two. Watch your dangly bits. It should hold, I hope. Spin that bottom nut off because it was just spinning, stripped. Mm -hmm. Stripped at like 46 foot pounds with the torque wrench. Trying to go to 48, then nothing. If I can spin that off now. <clears throat> Gotta make sure you always put it on. Oh no, you can't see if I. That's again wrong. Check. Even though I do it two times, I still did it wrong. Oh, we're still spinning on the bottom. Damn it. And that weld's broke. Again, that's all. We I said the crank up the heat and go to town. It did burn through the little nylock part when I tested on the bench for the piece. I'm trying to avoid that because I kind of want to weld to it and not blow through it. <laughs> 